wrong guys. Well I'm outside Terminal 5 at Heathrow. I've been invited to an amazing trip. I'm going to Italy courtesy of Moto Guzzi for five days of riding through Tuscany. Oh, we finally made it. <laughs> Hour and a half in the coach. There's the bikes. It's about half past three now. We're gonna go out, it's a bit of lunch. Then we're gonna go out for a ride this afternoon. It's really exciting. It's, the weather's about 28 degrees. So it's the last bit of beautiful summer sun to catch before the winter sets in. But look at the bikes. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh yes. Ooh, don't look at those. Bring it on. So I've tried the V7 early on in the year on the launch of the uh, the Carbon and the Mizano. This is the V9, which I'm guessing has a bigger engine. It's a motor guzzies through Italy. <laughs> so the whole point of this trip, this isn't just an excuse for me to come out and have a jolly. <laughs> well, it is. It's as far as I'm concerned. But the reason motor guzzies has invited me is, is there planning to do these experience days where you come to Italy you ride motor guzzies through the countryside stopping off for fine food fine roads and just have an amazing time riding these bikes in the country they were designed for when me and Womble did the Spain tour I really wanted to do a bit of Italy but we just didn't have time to include Italy so this will hopefully whet my appetite for perhaps coming back and doing it again myself see if I can remember some of these routes because this is the beauty of doing a tour like this you have the local knowledge so the guys who are leading you obviously know these roads at the back of their hands they, they really are taking you on the best possible routes around the area and the best possible places to stop I mean I could tell you about the power figures of this bike but that's not what it's about it's about the riding pleasure the hills of Tuscany aboard a V9 Motor Guzzi it's pretty special it is pretty darn special first little stop off look at that view behind me absolutely gorgeous around here and it's so warm that's the V9 Roma I've been riding let's have a quick look we've got this V7 Milano, which I've tried before. <laughs> V7 Stone, which I've ridden before, very nice. V7 Carbon, very nice. And then the big boy. Look at that, beautiful. So with this sort of tour, you know, obviously you're not going to be setting any sort of land speed records. These bikes are not about going quickly. These bikes are about enjoying the scenery and just enjoying the feel that these big thumping Vs give you, really. So I'm stopping for some snaps. I can't say I blame him. Look at the views. Looks like we're stopping off here. I don't know where it is. I don't know what it is. It's like an old castle or medieval castle neutral beautiful what do you think then lee what do you think terrible, what, what, what? terrible. terrible. <laughs> terrible isn't it? No, I oh. the v7 um, what do you think of the v7 i that's the first time i've ridden one yeah 
Yeah, I mean, it's good for this sort of thing. Yeah. You don't want, you don't want to take on our racetrack. No. Nah. You know, <laughs> pottering around some Italian countryside, it's really nice. That's the job for yeah, that. I'm on a V7 and I've got a V7 at home. Oh, okay. So, so I'm cheating, really. What year have you got? Have you got the I've new got one? one? Yes, it's only a few weeks old. Oh, so you're yeah. uh, you're starting, starting with what you know. So I've, I've started with what I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What yeah. V7 have you got then? Uh, V7 Special 3. Quality of everything. Look at this switch gear and everything. It's just very, very nice. You can see the similarities with the Aprilia. These little fixings here. I'm sure they're on the Aprilia somewhere. I've seen them before. That's a serious beard on that man. A bit like Bruce's. It's got kind of fag on. We're in Italy. We are in Italy. Where are this guy's going? We've picked up the other part of the group now, so we've picked up another 10 riders. So it's about a group of 20 now. <laughs> a group of 20 motor guzzies in the Italian countryside. Pretty special. I love it. They blocked the road for us. Oh dear, it's first thing I drop this now, you watch. Christ, now you went off the edge. Absolutely incredible scenery. I have to get my drone out at some point. I brought the drone with me. I brought the drone around the world with me again. I'll have to use it this time. It's been all over with me, but very rarely comes out of its out my backpack. I really need to make time every day to do some droning. I don't think just because it's a, a motor guzzy, you, you can't have fun in the twisties. You absolutely can. Behind Lee now, Lee in front is from Ride Magazine. And he's left his indicator on. <laughs> Bellissimo! <laughs> We're on motor guzzies, you can stop the road for us, it's no problem. The thing I love about these motor guzzies is they come fitted with the calf warmers. Ah. Stretch your legs, perfect armchair. It's just lovely around here. Absolutely gorgeous. On one of these in the twisties, it's about being smooth. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, big truck. They do handle these. You know, they're, they're big, it's a big bike, it's a big heavy bike obviously set up with soft suspension for comfort you know real comfortable riding position feet right forward you know so it's not the ideal geometry for a bike which is built for ultimate handling but if you're smooth you get those bends it will tip over it's got enough ground clearance to to really enjoy yourself on the twisty bits it's a bike which is fun in the corners and that is what it's all about for me if a bike handles <laughs> I don't care what power it's got, what torque it makes. I'm happy. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a bit of scrapage. <laughs> it takes a little while to get used to the gear shifters. Jesus Christ, mate. Right, we're stopping again. You take the white Roma. V9. V9, it's another 100cc apparently. Okay. on this one it does feel a little bit more grunty but i think there's a bit of extra weight there so see what you think It'd be interesting to have a little swap i'll go for the old uh, trusty v7 the stone this brings back memories memories it's very similar actually the switch gear is not quite as nice switch gear is not quite as nice looks like the same top yoke matte green tank on this one I prefer this straight away. Straight away I prefer this. The brakes seem to work better because the bike's lighter, has less weight to haul up. I don't think you even really feels any slower. Initial impressions. And that tank just fits your legs better. Yeah, this feels like a, a, a better balanced bike. 
It just looks nicer, even just in, even just a tank in front of you. It's got a much nicer look to it. It's much more aesthetically pleasing. Give me the B7 so far. It's my favourite so far. This is how I started the year, flying around the Italian mountains on a V7. And it's more or less how I'm going to finish the summer. It's not a bad way to start and finish the season. <laughs> Bloody lovely. So here is the room. The room's very nice actually. Shower. <laughs> There's no hot water though, so I just had to have a cold shower. The uh, B day with optional bum squirter. The loo hairdryer. I'll be needing that. Not. Uh, nice bed. King size. So is that emperor size? Two singles together basically. And all my shit everywhere. There's so much stuff to bring. So I wasn't sure what I was going to wear. So I wasn't sure what the weather was going to be doing. I wasn't sure how hot it was going to be. So I actually brought with me some riding Kevlar jeans. These are JNS um, jeans, I believe. Red Root jeans from JNS. And they've got hip armour in them. And obviously knee slider stuff. I tried to go through security with those on. And I ended up having to almost take my trousers off. Because the guy gets an empty your pockets. I said, the pockets are empty. That's armour in the trousers. And they, and they caused all sorts of unbelievable headache so they just about let me through with no having to take my trousers off so if you're coming through security you're flying on a riding holiday don't wear your armored jeans just just don't do it it's like a cross between the bat bike <laughs> and the alien queen here we are midway between florence and siena oh now that that is an ice cream show me your soul i gotta know best that you're beautiful <laughs> Paggio Museum, we're gonna have a little tour around, see what we got. That's made out of fish. That is nice. This is my first ever cruiser. Lamb Shops Cruises, new name for the channel. Looks like the pace is starting to hot up. Snake the back in. La birra, si chiama The Dog. Oh no, tieni conto che in Italia addirittura si... Sorry.